Kojak Ozukini. That's not or Ozukini. It's called a Kojak and Ozukini, depending on where in the world you are. So it's it, it's the same thing. Um, you don't need a Kojak and like, anyway. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome to the Vegan Brit. So the last few weeks I've been really challenging myself by trying new recipes and by attempting recipes without a recipe and I've learned that I probably should trust myself a little bit more so today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan chilli and I don't have a recipe but I have a feeling it's going to go well <laughs> I'm still doubting myself a little bit but you know of course there's going to be some doubt because well what can go wrong with chilli? What can go wrong with chilli? and I'll put all the measurements in the description below as I always do so that you can follow the recipe too. So this will be my own recipe and I've made a couple of vegan chilies and I'm just nicking ideas from here and there. Hopefully it will turn out well. It's really horrible and rainy outside today so I definitely need some comfort food and I think chili is comfort food. And once I've made it, I'll give you some ideas at the end of how to serve it and I'll show you how I'm going to serve it. Like there's so much that you can do with chilli. So let's have a look at the ingredients I'm using. For your vegan chilli, you're going to need carrots, courgette or zucchini. That's not or a zucchini. It's called a courgette and a zucchini, depending on where in the world you are. So it's it, it's the same thing. Um, you don't need a courgette and like, anyway. <laughs> Onions, tomato puree, garlic. Is this not like the biggest bowl of garlic you've ever seen in your life? Like this is this is huge. Chopped tomatoes or tomatoes and two tins of any kind of bean. I've got a tin of black beans and we also had knocking around our cupboard this tin of mixed beans which has got in it haricot beans, cannellini beans and red aduki beans. But you could also use kidney beans, that's quite a classic. And you could even use chickpeas or you could use butter beans or any two tins of beans, whatever your favourite is, go crazy, treat yourself, throw that in too. So that's going in my chilli and the spices that I'm going to be using are ground cumin, ground coriander, cinnamon, smoked paprika, oregano and salt. And I bought this liquid smoke a while ago and I've not really used it much so I might put a little bit of this in just to see how it goes but it's not necessary if you don't have it. I bought this online, I don't know if you can get it in the shops. And I'm making mine chilli free, I know it's weird that I'm making a chilli without any chilli powder, but and my sister, who I've mentioned quite a lot in my videos, bless her heart, there's a lot that she can't eat, and she doesn't really like spice, and actually I, for some reason since I became vegan, my spice tolerance has gone way down, so I'm not going to put any spice in. But if you do like spice, put in a teaspoon of chilli or however much chilli you like adapt it first thing that i'm gonna do is chop up my onions and my garlic get them frying in a pan and then i'm gonna grate these guys and then everything's just ready all the tins are ready to open and throw in so should be nice and easy let's do some chopping and grating i mean business That was hard work but this is all grated i've got the onions and the garlic on the heat i'm gonna add in some tomatoes because it's burning and not burning but it needs a bit of liquid in there rather than doing everything in private without you i'm gonna bring you with me so let's go make this chili together here you go so i've got my onions my garlic and my tomato in here next i think i'm going to add the well the other tin of tomatoes doesn't really matter what order you put everything in. I don't think it matters anyway. Apart from the garlic and the onions, obviously, because they, they need to fry before you add all the liquidy stuff in. And I'm gonna chuck in my carrot and my courgette. And I've got my beans here. I've just drained them and given them a bit of a wash. It's looking good. I'll mix this up. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my spices. Two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, that's coriander, ground coriander seeds, not fresh coriander because fresh coriander ain't going nowhere near my chili. 
teaspoon of oregano, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of salt. Not a lot I can do right now. I've got a two hour Zoom acting class. So I'm gonna leave this to simmer and see you all later. Here is my finished chili. I left it bubbling away for about half an hour. I also added in a tablespoon of liquid smoke and now I'm going to serve it up. I've got some grated cheese and some guacamole and I've got some yogurt and I'm gonna have mine with some tortilla chips. Just gonna plate this up and come back to you. So here's my finished chili. I've popped it in a bowl with my guacamole. <laughs> My guac guacamole, guaca, huh? guacamole, my coconut yogurt, some chips, some vegan cheese, and some of my beautiful chili. I'm just gonna try the chili on its own with a bit of the cheese. That was really nice, and I'm really glad that I made my own recipe because other chili recipes that I've tried in the past, I think they put too many beans in and it's just a little bit too much. <sighs> Overwhelming. The grated courgette and the grated carrot in this just like breaks the beans up a little bit so if you don't like too many beans in your chili then this is probably a good recipe for you. Let's try some with the... actually let's try some on a chip. Mm -mm. This is so good. So nice for this weather as well. It's so cold and horrible outside and I'm just here eating my crisps for dinner. Okay, that was a bit ambitious. I think I've been watching too many mukbang videos, which is eating shows where people just record themselves eating. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go and eat this. Thank you for watching. I hope you give this a go. It was really simple and easy and you won't regret it, especially if the weather continues to go the way that it is and it will because seasons. You could also serve this with some rice or on a jacket potato with spaghetti even. So if you do make this, leave a comment below, let me know how you ate it. The recipe is in the description below, as always. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I release a video every Monday and I'm open to suggestions. So if there's anything you want me to make vegan, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and wanna see more. And I will see you all next week. Bye. Jalapenos. I'm gonna get some jalapenos. Give that like button a hit and subscribe to the Vegan Brit.